So then you're at Tanix, and I'm only going to explain to you what I feel is the easiest way, which is the way of doing the challenge. And I've noticed a lot of the raid encounters lately with Destiny, the raid challenge is typically the easiest way to finish the boss. So it doesn't, it's the same thing with Tanix. With Tanix, one of the things you're going to notice is that you're spawned into an area. So there's a spawn area, then there's a blue colored area, an orange colored area. In each of those areas, you're going to notice that there are, there are the same bins where you can deposit the cores. Right, so same sort of concept. You'll see Tanix kind of in the middle. You'll also see that there's augmentation portals in each of the areas. So again, that's gonna come in key. So when you get in the encounter, you're gonna kill a bunch of ads. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna call four people who are gonna pick up bombs. And you're gonna run a number of those people, one, two, three, and four. That'll key in here in a second. And you could do it in any way. You could do it like fire team order or just call it out. The other two people are gonna be the operator and are gonna be the suppressor. You don't need a scanner in this activity if you do it this way. Now, the one thing is you're still going to want to have someone pick up scanner. And the main reason for that is when you have the whole thing happen where it resets the debuffs, you're still going to want to go ahead and have the scanner because then that means that you'll have three and the chances of the operator or the suppressor losing theirs is reduced. So you're definitely going to want to do that. So again, you're going to want to kill ads in each of the areas. You're going to want to have everyone split up. So two people go to each area, to the blue, orange, and the spawn. And you're killing ads at that point. For the actual op the roles, the operator is going to spawn at, at spawn. The scanner is going to be at the blue area, and the suppressor is going to be at orange. So again, for the people who are for those roles, make sure they go to those areas and those fire teams. So again, you kill ads. And then Tanix is going to go to one of the three areas. So you're going to have everyone head over to wherever he's at. Okay? And at that point, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want immediately to shoot off all those four engines. That's going to spawn four balls, okay? But again, the people who were one through four, let's say it's at orange, right? One through four would be left to right would be the locations. Again, looking at this map, you would look at, okay, the spawn is one, your first one, then two, and then at blue is three and four. Again, looking left to right. That way you don't have to do this complicated math of figuring out which box or anything else. You're just looking down the road from where you're at and that's where you have to do it based on your number so again have them do it and have them hightail it towards the area because again radiation times 10 comes really quickly and you're probably going to want to have people pick them up pretty much close to around the same time and here's why after you pick up the balls and run them down towards the other area right at any point there's a ball that will show up on one of the on one of the air people who are actually sending that across and the only person to shoot that off is the operator so have that happen as quickly as possible and at that point the operator then can make sure that they're behind one of the people making sure they can pick up if one of the radiation especially once they're further away if one of the radiation radiation times 10 happened and you have to pick up the debuff from someone else the suppressor at this point has to shoot the three zones that are the area where Tanix is at, right? So let's say is it orange, you would go to the three drones in those areas and shoot them at each one. You can do something like anarchy on him because if you do that, it will do damage over time. And as you bounce between the different nodes, the three different nodes, it'll continue to do damage, continue suppressing him. One of the reasons you're waiting to do suppressing as long as possible is let's say for instance that you do suppressing right at the very beginning. If you did that and the operator had his augment deactivated, he won't be able to shoot the debuff off of the people and your entire fire team is probably gonna wipe. So again, sequence is sh shoot the engines, pick up the balls, run them back. Operator shoots off the ball off of one of the people. At that point, helps support the people with the radiation. And then the suppressor is going to go in and shoot and suppress Tanix and then also follow people through. Once you do that, since you did all four, you actually get an extended DPS phase. So Tanix is going to go into the middle of the area. And in the middle of the area, there's going to be like a like a pile of space junk that's rotating, then an area, and then Tanix in the middle. You have to situate your fire team in the middle between those two zones. You can see this here on this map. What you're going to want to do, what we typically do, is we set up a bubble towards like about the time we think he's going to spawn. We set up a bubble in the back, and we jump through that. We put a well down in that middle area, and then we do DPS. DPS since he's so close, things like, you can use linears, but honestly, things like shotguns, you know, double hot swapping between them is probably usually the easiest way. Since you, again, since you did this with four, you actually get three DPS phases. So you'll just continue doing DPS. He'll boop you out after the first phase. You can then pick up the bubble again. You could do another well, do damage, and you do that three times. Now, 
if you happen to not get enough to go to the final stand, you're going to have to complete this whole sequence again. And he does have an arranged mechanic after so for, for so long. If you do happen to get the last stand, at that point, he's going to just warp around the room. And you're only going to have so long before he wipes you. So uh, things you want to do, again, because he's going to warp around really quickly, are supers, things with long range, if you have snipers, things like that, you know, as your alternative. That's a good way to do it. But once you do that, you finish the encounter. So again, really fun raid uh, with the changes coming in with weapon crafting. I figure people are going to want to get into this again. So I wanted to give you advice from someone who's done this quite a bit of time on how to do this with the updated meta and the updated understandings people have gotten over the years versus when the raid first came out. That's the video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, join my Discord, and I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.